Send it to you now. I put it to number Steve to number two. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, preacher, I'll be right there with you in a moment. I'll be right there. Yeah, hey, I'll be right there with you. I'm coming. I'm trying to get this other guest in. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a good time here tonight. Started here is 801. We're gonna give him a few more minutes to jump on here. Then we're gonna let me see. Add to the streaming. There we go. Yeah. What's going on, Chris? So many pages open it down. Yeah, 
I'm going to try to come back in on another way. Let me see. See if I come back in on another way. See a minute here. Reach up, coming. Try to get all... Yes, sir. And then if not, you might go to Room C too, huh? Right. Right. Okay. Uh, go go to Room and Stevens too. Can you get to them? Yeah. And it Okay. Delete that message. I'm gonna send me a fresh one. Delete them. I'm gonna send me a fresh one. We'll see what it does. You already know it, man. You already know it. We're on here tonight. Good to see you on here, Pastor Boy. We're getting ready to head into our weekly um, relationship to marriage. It's a round table. And uh, certainly we're asking everyone that can that um, that's on here, tag and like and share Send somebody in with you, yeah. Uh, as we commune uh, tonight concerning these um, these uh, marriages and all of that good stuff, uh, where we're going wrong at, and all for men and women. So certainly, um, we want to we want to be able to uh, want to be able to touch bases with you, find you right where you are. Uh, I'm trying to get a special guest on here tonight to be with us and uh, look like we're having some technical issues here, but hopefully he'll be able to get in um, and we'll go from there. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to roll on until we can uh, until we can get him in here and uh, we're glad that you are on board. You that are watching YouTube, you that are watching from Instagram channel. Uh, uh, we, 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 we coming out and watching it be a part. Don't be afraid to make your comments. Don't be afraid to ask your question. You want to call in, you know, and make your comment, make a statement right here in the comment bar. And what we'll do, we'll bring you in on, the, on the video as far as comment. Hey, and that was good. Thank you. Thank you for coming to be with us tonight. Um, and certainly tonight we're going to uh, get off into this relationships and marriage talk show. I I got a very spell another uh, guy. He's gonna be a part with us, uh, pastor, and he wanna be with us on every Monday night. And we're gonna let it grow. Now I'm looking for a one. I got a feature she's gonna do it by phone, but she gonna come in. She said we too rough. Well, we gonna be rough. This is men's round table, and we ain't feminine over here. We men. So we gonna talk it and tell it like the real talk. You can't handle it. I'm so sorry for you, but one day you may grow up to the standards of. It. 
I think we as men, we become more stronger in our efforts and our doing and our being. We could change the direction of our family and our direction with our friends and our son. The most part of it is our son. We need to become very aggressive in our son's life and be responsible for what they um what they do. So yeah, we're we're happy tonight. We we definitely are happy tonight. And uh, we look forward to um, the night show. All right, Pastor, tell us how you're doing tonight and greet the folks so we can come on in. Man, I'm doing fabulous, good, long weekend. Amen. But I'm at home on this Monday night enjoying, uh, relaxing, and hanging with my boy. Amen. I'm way back. Amen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glad to be a part of the show. And amen. Yeah, man. Bringing it down to the um, where, 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 where most men won't talk about. It. Amen. They want to deal with. Yeah, you know, yeah, and that's the thing about, right there. We won't talk, talk man. We won't talk. Yeah, we won't talk about it. We 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 just won't do it. You know, and 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 the reason why we won't do it. Is because we 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 too scared. You're gonna have to lose that a half spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to lose uh, a half spirit. Baby. You got to let it go. Uh, let hey, it go. Don't don't. don't. Hey, be yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, let it, it go, it. man. Yeah, let it go. Hey. <laughs> yeah, let it go. Just let it go, baby. The faster you let it go, the better off we be. Yes, we can sir. change some things. I, I want to get off into of tonight where I'm uh, I'm talking and uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to kick off with this question while you talking. I'm going to continue to get our guests in. Uh, I, I'm, interested, I'm interested tonight talking about why do the women's hate us? That's what I want to get off into. And, and and somebody would say, he they don't hate us, or, or they don't they don't hate us, or whatever the case may be. But in true reality, I believe that women in my community hate us. And I'll tell you why. You would rather take our children and you as a weapon rather than to let us. Be a part of our children's life. I, I, that's how I'm gonna say it. I mean, it's just wow. it is. And I, I, I'm not gonna back tonight off of that because you find most, you find most, you find most, you find most, you find most. <laughs> I guess it's talking to me, preacher. I'm coming. I promise you. I I, I promise you. I'm you in. We find most women that uses us as a paycheck if we can't have a relationship with our children you will a bad stemming between us and our children in order to get your way concerning our children. so tonight i want to hear your expertise on this here uh, and, and why you believe that the women's are doing this and the purpose of it. so why are you doing that i'm gonna get our guess in all right Hold on a second here. <laughs> I wonder where that in Mexican music coming, bro. We man. <laughs> anyway, God bless you, man. The the most women yeah. use the kids as leverage. Um, right to hold to hold that man. Uh, it, it's a it's a two fold. Right. It's to keep the man away from another woman, but keep her keep him in close proximity uh, with her. Right, and you know because from my just sharing of uh, what I heard y'all you know, men share and stuff like that, and guys that I counsel. Uh, 
and most of the time you hear that uh, that conversation because they um, the women feel like they made too right. big of an investment for him to just go off to another woman and she gets all the benefits of, uh-huh. uh, uh, of what she has invested in. So that child right. remains that 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 final uh that 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 one thing that'll keep him at bay and keep him at the point of uh I guess you want to say on the borders of in the event you change mm-hmm. at least you know you're at the border right. where I can welcome you back in. But if you don't meet those qualifications. Right. If you don't meet these standards, especially if you move on with another woman, man, your life is going to be so complicated because, you know, they're not going to, that's that's, that's some women's just, that that thing right there just totally is out the the question to have to share a child with another woman, you know. Ooh, Lord have mercy. Yeah, so that that that's a touchy situation, and and mm-hmm. and, and and who suffers is the child. Every time, yeah, yeah. nobody Every nobody time. pays attention to that. The child don't care less who's right, who's wrong, who cheated on who. That's it. You know, the child ain't concerned about all that. You know, right? Sometimes we're bringing these kids into these adults conversations amen and that's not right uh, you know you're trying to get the child to choose between two adults and that's truly unfair that ain't right. yeah it's, it's truly that's not that's that's definitely not it and so some women don't know how to keep uh the relationship no. neutral you know and, no. and, and a lot of that deals with immaturity on both parts, That's true. you know, a That's lot true. of that you, you, you got true. girls with kids, you know, and it's a and the kid is nothing but a right. dog. I'm not gonna let you play with my dog. That's all. I'm not gonna let you play with my, my right. dog. unless you do right by me. Right. You can't play. You can't play in the yard. You can't play in. You can't play house. Right. You play with my, unless you do right by me. Right. 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 <clears throat> right, right. And, and the position on that with me is, well, we got Dr. Rudy Stevens here. He done made it here. Pastor Boyd, meet uh, Pastor Stevens here, Dr. Stevens. And uh, it's just nice to be a combination. <laughs> so what you said, Pastor Boyd, uh, this, 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 this Dr. Stevens Doc, he's something else, Doc. We're we going to let him get in in a minute. He can, yeah, he's yeah. trauma, Doc. <laughs> he's trouble, Dr. Uh, Paul. He's he, he uh, trouble, man. Oh, he's trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 it's good to have him uh, aboard. We're going to let him speak in just a moment. But, Doc, uh, as you were saying, Doc, it is, we're being used. And, and this is my position. Now. We're being used. Uh, monetary to be able to put, take care of her. And what amazes me is is how they take us and put us away from our children. But then you want to go find another man and teach the child to call the other man daddy when he got a room this year trying to end the child's life. So you rather rather have the original and real father there to take care of it all behind this money situation so the child again is in a bad situation the child is in a bad uh, position and the child is losing on a massive level you know uh, uh, we was having a conversation about a couple days ago about a man in the court in the court boy is in court 
fighting his wife on seeing it, it, it to win a case against the mother making a ruling that it's okay for the son to take hormone people. Now you gonna take my seed. Now this is not me because I I don't care nothing about what nobody. I'm coming. You play with my son. Talking about where he gonna be and what he ain't gonna be. I'm coming. I'm just gonna keep it real. But you mean to tell? But you gonna take the seed that I planted into you? Was a bad time I have, and you gonna take my seed and do what you want to do with it as a woman and think I'm supposed to sit back and be quiet? No, we got a problem here. We got a serious problem here, and, 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 and I believe at this time we need to understand as a um, as a, as a man, it's time for us to go to war for our children. On keep it just like that. I mean, it's just not gonna blame us. He ain't gonna blame. Us. We can't, you know. We as men, the Ahab, they gonna go do what Adam did in the beginning. They gonna go blame their woman. See, Adam, oh, Adam don't tell oh. me nothing about that woman. I gave you the charge, brother. <laughs> You got a responsibility here to do, and if you don't fight, you are exempted from me that I can't stand no weak man. Then I just keep it real tonight. He can't stand no weak man. Weak men don't stand a chance with God. And with that being said, it's time for us to be men step to the plate and to walk for our seed. Because look how they're turning out. The girls are going out, they lesbians now. Our sons going out, putting on dresses, bending over, booking over. And they wearing all this dress on their hair with dye in it, all because these women like pretty boy. Pretty boy don't pay no bill. Pretty boy ain't gonna take care of you. So now what you gonna do? Mm. <laughs> so you're using our sons. And us as a patient never get to get what you want in order to have control. What y'all say about that one? Well, well, let me can I start by saying good evening to everyone and um, very happy go. to be here. Very happy to be here. This is quite interesting and extremely intriguing. And one of the things that we cannot dismiss is that within our modern culture, within our environment, our environment has dictated that the man is disposable. And this is the byproduct yeah. of that disposable man complexity. Um, we have been relegated. We can't simply look at the, the shift in terms mm -hmm. of the, the, the child is now being used as a pawn and a power play. Those are all byproducts. But um, if we look at the scriptures and see how the cycle within the scriptures is so prevalent and present today, what was one of the things that the enemy wanted to do even during the time of Jesus, during the time of Moses? What did the enemy want to do? Destroy the boy child destroy that because if you mentioned something in terms mm -hmm. of responsibility but responsibility without authority still equals nothing when we look at the scriptures it it gives us it gives us this intelligence that i have authority why because i am a man under authority and that's and that is that is a level of responsibility that we have but we have been authorized to do such so with, within this dynamic, within this dynamic, man, it is so interesting. You said my right. seed, my seed. Right. You, you, you must understand that within our environment, it's not your seed anymore. Mm. It's not your seed. Mm -hmm. Once that seed goes into her body, I, I'm not saying God's word. I am saying our culture our culture and what is dictated throughout the environment. Once it oh, goes into yeah. her body, oh, I, <laughs> once it, and, and I, I'm just keep it's just uh -huh. keeping one thousand. Once it goes into her body, there is there is more 
weight in terms of voice of finality than yours. According to God's word, right. you speak for the house. But if you are dismissed from the house, and, not, and, and, and so the narrative has got to be, the narrative has got to be that these all men are just horrible. All men are just this way. All men are just that way. All men. And so if we can keep the narrative going, right. keep, keep it loud, keep it, keep it pushed, and emphasize the importance of how much of a champion she is. There will be no need and there will be right. no place for you. And every time you express leadership from an authoritative position, you are toxic. So we got to keep that narrative going that the reason why we do this is because they're all horrible. The reason, and as if, as if there is no, see, the thing is, we, the, the idea is the man that caters, now that's the good man. Not the man that's definitive, but the man that caters, that's the good man. Well, even the man, right. the man that even the man that caters get dismisses. Even the man that caters get wow. responded to in some cases with boredom. I could just walk all over him. I could just walk all over uh -huh. him. And, and, and here is the catch. And here is the catch. And I say this quite often. And, and some people find it disheartening. But the gatekeepers, the gatekeepers to sexuality is not man. Mm. The gatekeepers to sexuality is not man. In other words, man can't open the gate. All we can do is see if our key can open the gate. Uh -oh. Not every man has the key. I, not, not every man has the key to open said gate. Some men are not tall, dark, and handsome, so he can't open that gate. Some men don't make six figures, so he can't open that gate. Not every man is charming, so he can't open that gate. Not every man is a bad boy, so he can't open that gate. Not every man has swag. So he can't open that gate. Not every man has status. So he can't open that That's gate. Right. So here is a challenge. Every man don't have the keys to open said gate. But whose key was able to open your gate? Whose key was able to open your gate? And That's that right. is the That's that right. is the component that gets uncomfortable because yeah. that causes that causes us to self reflect, and it's right. difficult to shift the blame. Right. It's difficult to shift the blame. If the gangster was it's able easy. to open the gate, he was able, he was able to open the gate. The, uh, the only time that gate is being ran down, ran over, intruded upon, and it's abrasively taken, those are criminal charges. Outside of that, That's all right. that man, all every man, every man. Only the only thing every man can do is present a key to see if his key can open the gate. And not every key can open the gate. But if gangsters can that's open it. that gate, if the man that's got a bunch of money can open that gate, if NBA players can open that gate, NFL players can open that gate, if the man that's the famous rapper can open that gate, or the man that's got the bag can open that gate, or the famous, or the famous guy that you that, that's that's the neighborhood. D boy, if he can open that gate, he can open that gate. Why are you 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 can't you can't shoot every man because that man had the key to open your gate, and not every man was well. Uh, he right. did this to me. To, no, if, unless he unless he broke your gate, his key opened it. Yeah, his key opened it. That's it. I could because if that was the case, that would gates we would have been that would gates we would have been able to open. We couldn't open every gate, but that was a gate we opened. And, and see, that's that's the that's that's the self-accountability. That's the personal accountability. I'm the one right. went to see could my key open that gate. Well, I tried to see if my key can open that gate. She said, No, nah, I, right. I don't like I don't like no dude that's doing construction work, so my key couldn't open that gate, but my key could open this gate. But my key can open, my your key can't open every gate. If you allow those <laughs> keys to open your gate, if you allow the inaccurate, inappropriate right. keys to open your gate, either that key 
was able to open your gate with ease or your gate has a horrible lock. That's the best way I can explain that analogy from that vantage point. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What's, wrong, what's wrong with your lock? Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I want to get down to. Now. <laughs> what kind of lock you got holding up? It must be a mighty weak lock to let anybody. Come on, Pastor Paul, what you got to say on it? Well, he, 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 I was going to say something, but he, you let a teacher teach and he expound on it. Cause I was just going to say, I don't know no lock I couldn't get into. That's it. You know, because back in my time, what we had was the, the rule of thumb for us, <laughs> a conversation rule of nation. Yeah. You know, if I get up in your ear, I'm like, hey, yeah, right. I'm going to pick that lock. <laughs> you know, you know, but, and, and, and like you said, and, and I think, you know, what he to, to his defense, like, because they met guys like me, they they didn't fix the lock. They just tried to fix the lock to where somebody like me could not use that key no more. But every lock can be picked. Right. Every lock can be open at that point. But we're in the Me Too generation. You know, <laughs> I don't uh -huh. think we would have made it in the Me yeah. Too generation. We, we, we wouldn't have made it. We wouldn't have made it. But women came out with a vengeance, you know what I'm saying, yeah. to the ones that had been hurt and everything That's like this. And they started taking what you was talking about earlier, right. authority, and raised the young men to be, right. you know, second, or uh, what you may say, they bought them up, they, what we call mama boys. You know, because they when no when the man right. was disposed, like you said, they was only left for, for the role model and the teacher of what the mama. And this is what a man shouldn't do. This is what a man should do. This is what right. a man should do. And they never got into that that introductory of authority because again, I see this yeah. all the time. It's like some young men right. are afraid to be authoritative because that's going to sever that relationship with that mother. You know, right? But at the like end of the day, yeah. So you know, I've grown up in these areas a lot, but I still today, and I know, like you said, most women are attracted to men that are authoritarian, but not uh, what you want to say, narcissistic with it. You know, not controlling right. with it because they love, they can respect that 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 man that makes the provision. Like this is if you are a construction worker, you know, my wife weighs way more money than I do. But I never let money define mm -hmm. me as my character or who I am as mm -hmm. a man. You know, I know that mm -hmm. me too, maybe when well, mm -hmm. she make all the money, she should make all the decisions. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. You not know, gonna, so and not I'm not gonna, gonna rule over her, but we're gonna work together on. But if any my thing is if a decision made, it's gonna come back on me, not on you. I don't blame another woman for a shortcoming. I'm the one let it in the house, or if, if you know if a yep. lock I broke it, it was me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I take that, I take that, you know, because I know I'm gonna do what I can to fix that. So you know, I love what you right, said, young right. man. That that was a great analogy how you used. I never, I think I might steal yes, some of that material. I'm just telling you to your face. So, hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I tell you, you trouble in the house, man. Y'all <laughs> yeah, yeah. listen at this. This y'all listen. Y'all listen at this here. Oh, uh, let me see if I can get the honor to complete action. Well, you would that to me tonight, when you? I'm trying to try to get this thing to come up. Let's see. You can get more from a man when you appreciate his presence and not his paycheck. When we see our presence disgust you, then we close down on you and you wonder why we won't communicate. A man only talks when his presence is appreciated. You might get catfished because when a man doesn't feel appreciated, you can get more from a man. I, I want to touch on that. When you appreciate. When men are appreciative. This is men's round table tonight. And we going to go hard tonight. 
uh, when men are appreciative, we're not appreciative by you putting a pair of thongs or uh, walking around with some booty shorts on and all of that. We got to know you, excuse me, we got to know the women. I, I, I used to be uh, uh, somebody's man in the street. I can't tell you no lie. I used to be somebody's man. I, I was a woman chaser. And, and if you don't watch it, you they call me a womanizer. They, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real with you. And I, I and I went out to the woman that a lot of men they couldn't get. I like the woman that was very hard and difficult to get. And she wasn't the one because I never did like too many women that walk around with their clothes hanging off their bodies, and you can see what they wearing underneath their clothes, and it's all tight and. And all that. that 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 was never my my cup of tea. I I, I liked it a woman just that modest who had a secret because mm -hmm. see your beauty attracted me to find out what is your secret that you have. I mean that, that, that you have. I wanted to learn what your secret was. Um, when 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 I met you, I'm like, well, you got some beauty on the outside. That's a secret about you on the inside. I want to get to your inside. Now, your beauty got me. That's what brought me here. But what's on the inside that you really not showing is what I want. To I think in this hour, women have become to the point where they are indirectly hookers because they're no longer trying to reach you from inside out. They're trying to reach you from outside in. And, 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 they don't understand. It ain't about what you wearing. It ain't about what you got on. It's about how you able to receive us. The receptacle part of you is what we looking at. Can we have a pillow talk with you and it remains safe and confidential, not down the road and your best friend and your friend and your mother and your sister and your cousin knows about our pillow talk when you get angry because you can't have your way or because something in your and our life is not working as the puzzle supposed to be. That's the thing cut real deep into tonight also dealing with that because at this point in life, and I've been through some serious experience, experience that women that are spoiled and want to have their way, and if they can have you, they'll find a way to try to tear down everything that you connected to and that you got your hands in. She will try to tear down. That's why in my previous relationship, I did not share any of my personal life and business with her. I did not. And I would not. And I'm glad that I did because at the end of the situation and relationship and the marriage, I wind up dealing with a Jezebel who came to kill, steal, and destroy. I wind up, I wind up dealing with it and I watched it firsthand, took from me, just did not but took. It was never the part about it is you never was able to put back what you even took. You, you you had pillow talk. I had trust put in you. I I, I, I lived a life with you. I left a scenario of my life to come into an area where you were to make you comfortable in order to get uncomfortable and damage to my own self. I did this. Oh. I mean, as the doctor said, Dr. Steven said, uh, and, and, and Pastor Boyd said to, to us on tonight, is that we as men got to take responsibility. But I need her as a man to understand when I am not appreciative, when I am not appreciative, then I must find somewhere to be where I am appreciative. I had a friend of mine tell me that he told his wife, listen, if I can't be the man of his house, it won't be no house and I'm gone. I'll be a man and be a husband where I'm appreciative to. So at this point, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm speaking directly for people who have rolled in, men who have rolled in to me, saying, what do we do to get the woman to appreciate us? 
Now, who want to jump can, in there first? Can I deal with this? Oh, well, you about to say something, Pastor Boy? I don't want let, let me. Let me say this. This might real quick. Why would you even be in the vicinity of a woman mm. that can't appreciate you? You know, from That's my a good second, I'm, saying, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm gonna keep it real. You know, right off the bat, yeah. whether that woman gonna appreciate you or not gonna appreciate you. They don't hide this yeah. stuff. You know, wow. and, and here come the conversation. Here where I hang up the phone. Well, again, it comes in. What a man is supposed to do. Once I hear the word, I ain't finished. I'm done. We so we why done. would you go <laughs> thinking you can turn a trick into a tree? I mean, I'm. Let me uh -oh. even come along. Uh -oh. I'm shutting up. I'm, I'm messing around. I'm, I want to listen because he's going to be profound with this. Come on, Dr. Steve. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm listening because when we start talking about man and man's and man desiring to be appreciated by her and why he's not being appreciated by her, one of the things I want to express is, is that who cares and why her appreciating us is that important. Come on, man. Uh -oh. said it better than I did. Uh -oh. If if uh -oh. if oh, her God. if if her ability to appreciate us is that important, then we have to ask ourselves: Am I being spiritually driven by what we say we are called and commissioned to do? Because that is our ultimate purpose and aim to hear God say, "Well done," and to know that I've done what He's assigned and called me to do. I'm not interested right. in her appreciation. If it comes, I am thankful for it. Because in some cases, some people can only appreciate what you are giving them tangibly. Right. And the moment you're not right. catering and giving to said person tangibly, they don't, they don't see the significance of you and your assignment. Because don't forget, in some cases, you are disposable. And here, and here's ah. the next thing I like to I, I like to express is because it's me, it's our fault, right? And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to explain why it's our fault. Women outnumber men drastically. Mm -hmm. The numbers speak Jeez. for themselves, mm -hmm. seven to one, drastically. And I'm not going to go into That's... the various ethnicities that would dictate the numbers. Not going to go into that. Right. Those are self-explanatory. We can see it at school. We can see it at church. We can see those numbers in the grocery store. We can see those numbers anywhere. By looking at the numbers, and you are, and we are having a discussion about being appreciated or unappreciated, that only gives me this direct indication that a man's thirst and mm -hmm. desire for ice cream is overwhelming because she wow. knows, she knows that that your thirst would be so overwhelming until you would jeopardize and forfeit what God has given yeah. you in terms of your masculinity that consists of your provisioning and your protecting until you will respond uh, like, uh, what was it, Esau? You will give yeah. everything away because you're so thirsty. Yeah. You will give your Come birth on, right man. away. Your birthright as a man is what God gave you. Uh, and you right. gotta you you gotta yeah. keep that frame. You gotta keep that frame if you living in a one-bedroom shanty. You gotta keep that frame, the frame of who you oh, are. Uh, you you oh, gotta man. keep that, you've gotta keep that frame if you gotta eat beans out of a can and nobody knows it. You gotta keep that frame if you're in if you if you down to your brake pads. You still got to keep that because once you lose that, you lose the engine, you lose the fire that keeps your uh, engine moving. But a man's oh, out, uh -oh. our, our thirst, a man's thirst and desire for more ice cream will cause him to sell his birthright like Esau sold and gave away his birthright. Why? Because he wanted something to eat. His appetite was much uh, more was more valuable to him than his birthright. Uh -huh. And so many men uh -huh. can care less. They, I, don't, look at, I, I, don't look at me in that tone of voice because I know I'm going to drive down there and I got to park the car. <laughs> so many men, they are, they are skip work. They are miss work to get some ice cream. They are right. miss basketball mm -hmm. practice 
to get ice cream. They right. miss football right. practice to right. get ice cream. Even though, and there are some uh -huh. songs, some songs that, that are martyred by various artists that it's not, uh, you know the colloquialism, it's not tricking if you got right. it. There's been un wow. unprecedented amounts of money. Throw all kind of money right. into places where there's going to be an ice cream buffet. They'll throw all the money up, give all kind of money away. They don't care because of this un the, un the unquenchable desire for more ice cream. So why should she, why should your significance be appreciated? Why should you be, why should, why should that be, why should that be expressed with gratitude? Who cares? Because there's a lot of dudes that'll spend money. That's it. There are a lot of dudes that'll spend yep. money in the hopes of getting more ice cream. In hopes of just getting it, mm -hmm. that, so uh -huh. so that that means nothing because there are so many men that will sell their manhood for more ice cream. They'll sell their manhood to have a free room and board to get free room and board. They'll sell their manhood to get free room and board and to get a chance to drive her car until she get yes. until she gets bored with your scoop and she lets right. you know. That this is my house. Oh, you can get out of right. my house. Oh, it's my name right. on this lease. It's my name on this. Right. You have no rights to right. nothing. Why? Oh, because the only, the only time you can express your manhood is when you're scooping the ice cream. Right. So you got to get uh -oh. as much scoop as possible because you're not scooping for intimacy and connection in terms of covenant under God's design. You scooping to make sure you can have a place to live. You scooping yeah, to make sure you get free. You you it's you scooping to make sure you get some free food and get some clothes and get some nice amenities. So that's cool. Yeah. But that but but the term of being appreciated. No, God, I'm glad that I'm doing what you beside me to do. Come on, man. If I'm waiting on cheers, I so I don't. I don't that, Come that, on, man. That that mean that has got to that the the cheers and the booze have got to equate to the same thing concerning you. Because yes, just sir. as much as you'll give a, get some cheers, you gonna get the same amount of booze. So if either one of them gonna move your barometer, you in trouble. You in trouble. Preach part. Turkey time. Turkey. Yes, sir. That's what you call the turkey right there. But pat. See that? <laughs> at, at, at most, most men mess up. They mess up by putting themselves in a following position. You never should have yourself in a following position as a man. You're not made to follow. You're made to lead. Hustling off of her is it's not the thing to do. You can't live off her and lead her at the same time. That's impossible. You can't do it. But you find it happening on every on every hand, that's a very good point you made, Doctor Stevens. <laughs> Pastor Boyd said something that that stood out. He said, "Someone she makes more money than me." And this one is not about because this is a catch. This is one of the things that is so that some people don't take into account as it relates to manhood. And when it, and when we talk about provisioning, when men make money, we mm -hmm. want to make more money. To impress her, mm -hmm. it's still connected to right. our mm -hmm. making money. Right. It's still connected to impressing her, right? Validation, Va yeah. validation yeah. from her. I, I yeah. mean, this is and this, and we're talking in general. That mm -hmm. the reason why the brothers want the nicest yeah. car, the nicest this, the nicest home, the nicest stuff, because right. she likes that. So, but but this and this is this and this is what I'm talking about in the programming as little boys to teenagers to young men. The young men ain't hey, get to get you a good right. job, work hard you, so you can take care of your family, so mm -hmm. forth and so on. When mm -hmm. she's growing up, and, and we begin to give the programming to her in the developmental stages, uh -huh. it's not get a good job and you contribute to your family. Like mm -hmm. Proverbs 31 and 1, right. like Proverbs mm -hmm. 31, is get a good right. job, make money so you won't need no man. Right. So you won't have so so you see, you see two opposite ends 
of the yep. spectrum. And by the time we both get to right. money making ages, is is more about competing uh -huh. than completing. Right, right. You uh, make money so you can provide woo. for a family. She make money to show that she Good don't man. need no man. So how how That's can it. how you can that to be his now. How can we be? How can that be a synergistic interaction when you making money to show you don't need me? I'm making money to show that I can do it, even if she makes more or who makes it doesn't matter who makes more because anything can happen. Anybody can get sick. Yes, anything. Sir. And guess what? She okay. got she got to have the resolve that you know what yes. he gonna get out there and go get it. He gonna go yeah. out there and go get it, and we're not gonna be homeless. Money right. can come and Security. go, but the, the bottom yeah. line, and I'm not, and so with that in mind, I will never ever indict any lady for identifying whether or not a man can provide, because that's her nature. Yeah, that is her nature. I'm not, I'm not, that's I'm not knocking that. But, but here is right. a challenge: Will you accept our nature? Ah. Oh. Right. Good point. That, that is her that nature. Is can she pro can this man provide? Because here, see, all this is biblical. Can he provide? Because right. uh when Jesus, when Jesus left, Jesus said, I'm about to go. Why are you leaving? He tell the church, I'm about to go. Why? Because I'm going to prepare a place that where I am, you're gonna be also. I'm going and I'm right. gonna make sure your living conditions are taken care of. I'm going right. to make sure that in eternity. Right. I got that. I have right. no problem right. with identifying will he provide for, for me and then provide for the family. Right. I have no problem with that. that, that right. that's, that's in alignment right. with your nature that God gave you. But but why would you condemn why would you condemn this man's attraction to beauty? Men don't no. say oh. men, men don't say from a generalizing standpoint, it is not within his nature. Uh -huh. I mean, we, we, you know, some uh, some of us have we all preachers or what have you have performed weddings and you mm -hmm. talk to the, the couples and you talk to the the, the the men and the women before they get there. I've never heard a man say she's got to be able to make this much money. I've never heard a man say she's got to have at least a master's degree. If she don't have at least a master's, I, I never heard a man say that. And uh, when you come to the come to the office, come to the pastor study, say, "Real man, she bad. I'm about to get married, man." I, and he first he say, "Man, she beautiful, man. She bad now. She pretty, man. And she she a good girl though. She a real good girl. She a good girl." Really? I've heard that. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> but, you but, when you, <laughs> but when you but when you listen to her, when you listen to her, and she talks. Even when she talks with her friends, one of the first things her friends are going to ask her, girl, what does he do? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I'm not what knocking that. How, what, what kind of money he has? What, what kind yeah. of work he do? Where he live? What he have? I, I don't have no I understand it. But there is something within our nature yeah. that makes us different. Mm -hmm. But yet together, it shows how we can be much better. And I think sometimes... Right. We begin the, the conflict is we need we need men to be more like her. Right. Men are not simply silent because we wait on her to appreciate us. Sometimes we're silent because we think on, before man. we feel. On, right, right. We don't Come have on, time. If we, we think before we feel. We have to think, we have to foresee. How is this going to attach yeah. itself to the future? How is this going to play That's into it. the overall vision? We ain't got time That's to be doing it. all that talking because by the time we start implementing and putting it in place, if it goes wrong, it still right. comes back to us. So, That's it. so, so we being quiet, <laughs> waiting on her to appreciate us. That's that's not that's right, that's right, that's that's, right. that's not how it goes. Sometimes yeah, we're quiet. We thinking. We thinking. We think That's right. any, any man, any man, right. any man that thinks that all he can that he can live on an emotional primary. I don't care whatever the emotional primary is. 
if it's anger, if it's sadness, if it's being romanticized, if a man thinks that he can live on an emotional primary and still be high functioning and maximize his potential, he's crazy. We are not built that not way. We are not built. Not. We are we are not built to to live on a on an emotional primary and that governs because we identify that there are going to be things we got to do and within our feelings is going to hurt us right right That's and it. we and and That's the way it. people and the, uh, why, and I'm got, I'm stopping and the way people talk to us if we would talk to them that oh, way mm -hmm. if we said some things to them that way it'll break them in half and it and then it'll go right back to Girl, he, he just That's so he just so oh he just so toxic Ooh. so yeah we quiet sometimes be like you know what i ain't gonna even let that bother me right i ain't, right. Gonna, even, I ain't gonna even sweat that but 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 we start hearing these we, start, we, we we start hold on we start hearing these these erroneous irrational talking points that consist of right. men not being able to express themselves emotionally they're emotionally closed right. off. They don't mm -hmm. understand emotional language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, right. the, 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 the Webster Dictionary hasn't been rewritten. It's the same language. Ah. It's the, it ain't no new language, it's English. <laughs> but 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 men have got to be men have got to be willing to identify the emotional language instead of being emotionally closed off. No, we're not being emotionally closed off. We just not responding according to our emotions because right now, exactly. emotionally, I may want to pick a door off the hinges or pick up some furniture <laughs> and throw it. So let me chill and be quiet. <laughs> and this is a, this is this is real. Real talk. Yeah. Silence, be let me go. You yeah. on the inside of me, but you, you want to communicate. Listen. Go ahead, Pastor Paul. What you got to put on this here? And the key word that he keeps referring out when he said validation. If you're looking for your wife, your, you know, a lot of men look for that validation because that's how their mama validated them. And they yeah. want that mother, to, they want that point. wife to come and validate them the same way, you know. And, right. and like you said, young man, that is so true that, you know, Whatever, why would you be concerned about that? I used to say to my wife when we first got married, I'm working on my, I'm on my third and last, thank you, Jesus, marriage. I have no more flesh to give. Amen. Uh, uh, I used to say when she came in, every time she said she had a, 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 a job, I said, you don't have a job. And she yeah. used to get offended. She said, why do you keep on saying I ain't got no job? I do got a job. And I, I used that because I wanted her to know that at the end of the day, I'm the provider. Uh-huh. At the end of the day, that falls on me. I'm not I depending on you and what you bring yeah. to the table. I'm bringing, I'm, yeah. it's my job to go out there and do it. It's my job. If I got to do, if I got to go dig ditch in the morning and go turn around and go put barbecue on the pit in the evening to get it in, I'm going to get it in. And when she got laid off, that became a reality. Yeah. That That's became my reality. But guess what? We was day. already in scene. I knew what I had That's to do. Right. We, we we knew what she had, and we trust God. Right. We went through a whole year. We never saw that coming, but we went through that That's whole it. year. And that's why I downside because I told her, I said, when we get married, I know my house didn't look like us. But look here, I can afford, we can afford our, the one my, I'm living in. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. that's what, that's what kept that thing. But like you said, man, a lot of this, is, and I ain't going to get, I'm going to let Mark have the last words to this. I feel your passion in this. And so much is needed to be getting out. Because I'm telling you, I know mm -hmm. men's. I know men today, they they can't handle stress. They they looking for the woman. Man. And then when something yeah. gets there, well, my wife didn't do man. What, what are you talking about? Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Your wife. Yeah, you what you mean, your wife? What, what she didn't do, you know, and she didn't pay the bill. 
man, come on, man. What? You know, man. But anyway, I don't know how to relate to them like that. But it's 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 sad. Eight out of ten men it think is. that way today. That That's the it. woman should be doing this, and That's they leave, and she had the job. I, we she told me to move in her house. You ain't ever say so. Yeah. You know. So I mean, let me get off it. Come on, Marco. I had to get, man, get on my prayer line. Come on, man. I got to hear you, man. <laughs> listen, listen, y'all. It's been fun. This is uh, just the beginning of of, of our um. Uh, 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 we are on the fourth night dealing with uh, marriages and uh, uh, relationships, man. We got the Pastor Bard who's been with us from the get go, and now we got a third person that's on here going to be a with third. us faithfully on Monday. That a straight third. It's going to be Monday. It's going to be Monday. It's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be every Monday night. We might have to go to two nights over here. Y'all write me back in the inbox on my line and tell me uh, if you wanted to go. Uh, maybe we can work this out another line and we, we could do it. But it's certainly been a privilege here tonight to hear from these men on this standpoint. And I'm glad for the show and we're happy for you. I hope you enjoyed it. But I'll tell you what we got to do. We got to get out of here, baby. We got to get out of here, baby. <laughs> we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. And so next week, Monday, same time, same place, tag somebody. Like, tell somebody to hey, go watch Lee. it. I'm going to do a rerun on this one because this one here, woo, it's a hot one here. I'm going to rewind this one and play this at least twice to get you ready for next week. Because part six, we getting on in the ditch a little bit deeper. Now, tonight we heard from the doctor who put it all in perspective. But next week, we going back to the hood. Y'all know how I like it. Roll and room. <laughs> and we go on that. So we going to see you next week. Bless you. And we love you. Thank you for showing up. And we'll see you next time around. Adios, amigos. <laughs>